Thank you to Case Defy for sponsoring today's video. As many of you guys know, I love Case Defy's cases and I have worked with them before. This is currently the case that I have on my phone. I love it, it's adorable, and it protects my phone so well. Case Defy's Impact and Ultra Impact cases are made from 65% recycled and plant-based materials, and all of their cases come in 100% recycled packaging. Their cases use G-Tech 2.0 technology, which offers drop protection for up to 9.8 feet, and I'm going to be testing that out by doing my own drop test. The case that I have on my phone right now is one of their ultra impact cases so it has these little bumpers which means I can drop this for up to 9.8 feet and it won't crack. Here is what my phone looks like right now so let's go ahead and drop this. No cracks or scratches. Perfectly intact. When you buy from Caseify, you can choose from a wide variety of curated prints, or you can even personalize your own case with whatever font, color, and design layout that you want to make a truly custom case. Caseify cases also feature Defensify, which is an antimicrobial coating that kills 99% of bacteria. And Caseify was so kind enough to send me some new cases, so let me show you guys the ones that I got. This first one is one of their impact cases with this super cute flower design. It's clear and then it has black borders and this one is one of their ultra compostable cases So this one is made from bamboo based materials and it's 100% compostable and look how cute it is This one is light purple with this little abstract jaguar or like cheetah. I don't know I'm really bad at the difference between those two, but it just looks like this It's super cute and has these protective bumpers on the top And this is what the inside looks like and since I love case defy I let my sister and one of my friends choose one so here's the one my sister chose this is a clear case with these really pretty flowers. It has a white border and this is one of their impact cases. The last time I collaborated with Caseify was I think like a year ago maybe and I let my sister pick one out and she's had that same case for this whole time so she's super excited to have this new one. And then my friend picked out this one. It's clear but has this graphic design and then it has a blue base. This is also one of Caseify's impact cases. I would definitely recommend checking out Caseify. If you're interested go to caseify.com slash Alyssa Darlin to save 15% off of your order. I will also link their website in the description down below. Thank you again to Case Defy for sponsoring this video and now let's get back to the get ready with me. Today is Tuesday Today is Tuesday, August 16th, and it's currently around 7.05 in the morning. Today is my first day of school. I'm going into my sophomore year of high school. I just got my schedule yesterday at 4 p.m., so I haven't walked my classes, but I do know slightly where they are. So we're gonna get ready for today. I picked out an outfit last night, so let me show you guys what I was thinking. Since it's gonna be quite warm, I was thinking of wearing this plain blue tank top and then these black jean shorts. I might change into my Lululemon shorts because they're more comfortable but i'm thinking this is what i'm gonna wear so let me get dressed and then we'll finish getting ready okay so here it is it looks fine and we don't really have a dress code so i'm not really worried about that but even if we did it wouldn't be like that bad but i am on my period like day two which is the worst so these aren't the most comfortable for today so i might end up just changing into my lululemon shorts which is like it's not really the look i'm going for like i feel like the jean shorts are much cuter than these but these are so much more comfortable so i'll think about it but i feel while I do my makeup, I'll just chit chat with you guys. I don't really know how to feel about today. I'm not really nervous or anything because I know my school pretty well. The only thing is I don't know where my classes are. Like on a map I do, but not like memorized. So I'll have to just figure that out when I'm there, which is not the best feeling, but yeah. So we got our schedules yesterday at around 4 p.m. So none of us really know where our stuff is, but if we look on a map, it is a little easier. So we're all kind of worried about that but not too bad honestly a lot of my friends are already at school because they're taking a zero period so good luck to them they're already there i have to leave in like 30 minutes or so so i should probably move a little faster in case you couldn't tell i'm applying moisturizer this is the glossier after bomb it's my favorite daily like moisturizer it keeps my skin so soft and smooth throughout the day my skin is a very uneven tone right now because i have been sunburnt a few times so some of it's like peeling some of it's like healing and and we've got a lot going on. Now I'm going to be applying my daily sunscreen. This is the Glossier Invisible Shield. I really like this stuff. It also doesn't feel like too heavy. So I'll just apply that on my T-zone. Let me tell you guys my schedule. So first period, I have AP Euro. And I actually have the same history teacher I had last year who taught Honors World History. And I had him first period last year actually as well. So I have him two years in a row. He's nice, I like him. And I know I have friends in that class. And then second period, 
is dual sports, like PE dual sports or something, where basically we play badminton, tennis, pickleball, and backyard games for the whole year. So I'm not too mad about that. Although I didn't get into yoga because it was too backed up. So I wish I got into that, but Maddie didn't either. So she's in my class. So I'm glad that we're in the same class. But yeah, that's second period. Third period is Spanish two. That is the one class that I don't know anyone who has it. So hopefully I see people when I get there, but I don't know anyone so far who has that class. Fourth period is honors English two, which actually last year I had honors English one fourth period. So that's not very much of a change. Fifth period is honors algebra two trig. I noticed that classroom was in a different building than like all the other math ones so I'll have to try to find that one and then my sixth period is honors chemistry so I know people in every class except for Spanish so we'll have to see what happens now I'm doing mascara some days I would use a lash primer but today I'm just gonna go very natural I'm just gonna do like two coats of my Glossier mascara I honestly don't know like what to talk about I feel like this whole morning I'm just like not very awake yet like I haven't woken up at 6 30 in a very very long time and I barely even woke up by 6 30 it was more like 6 40 so I'm definitely tired I'm also on my period so I'm not feeling the best on the inside if you guys remember my friend Iman from middle school she didn't go to my school last year I'm not gonna like talk about her whole schooling situation but basically she's at my school this year so I'm really excited to see her I think she's taking a zero period today so she's already there but I will see her probably at some point so I'm excited to see her okay mascara is done now for my brows i'm just gonna use the glossier boy brow which is like brow gel this one's clear and then i'm gonna go over it with a spoolie and then fill it in with my brow pencil if i have to i don't know how long this video is gonna be i feel like it's gonna be really short because i'm not getting a lot of content or like talking to you guys a lot i just like genuinely don't know like what to talk about what days do you guys start school comment that down below a lot of people start like way later than me all my friends in minnesota they start in two weeks so they still have two weeks of summer and we're starting school today but there are a lot of fun things coming up i take my permit test soon we have our first football game this friday honestly i feel like that's it i mean there are a good amount of videos that i have already like scheduled to post that i'm excited for you guys to see i'm like excited to go to school to see my friends and stuff because like going to new classes is more exciting and stuff but then it's like you just have to think about it as school and that's not fun all right so I'm done with makeup. I'm not really doing my hair. So this is what I look like for today. I honestly feel like I might just keep the jean shorts. Like they're not the most comfortable, but I feel like it's fine. So I'm basically ready for school. I have to leave in around 15 minutes. So I'm gonna finish getting like my stuff ready. And also I gotta pack a lunch and like a water bottle. So yeah, I'm gonna finish getting my stuff ready and we'll see what vlog clips I get. I probably won't vlog more this morning, but I'll see you guys whenever I decide to pick up the camera again. Hi guys, so it is actually the next morning. A lot happened yesterday and I didn't really get time to like talk to you guys and all that and I figured this video was pretty short if I didn't film more so I'm gonna do a get ready with me for day two of my sophomore year and while I get ready I'll just tell you guys how yesterday went because I feel like a lot happened not really in a bad way but like just a lot happened so first I'm gonna get dressed here's the outfit that I picked out for today it is so hot like yesterday I was like dying of heat and one of my classrooms didn't even have like air con that worked so so I am wearing a tank top and shorts again. Today I'm gonna wear this tank top. It's from Cotton On. It's like a little graphic tee kind of, but a tank top. And then I'm gonna wear my Lululemon Hottie Hot shorts. They're just in black. These are just so much more comfortable than like jean shorts. So I figured I wanted to wear those. And I don't know what shoes I'll wear yet, but we'll figure that out in a minute. All right, so I'm all dressed and now I'm going to start to get ready. Basically our schedule today is the exact same as yesterday where we have all six of our periods. And and zero period if you take it but I don't take zero period and we end at like 324 I think yesterday felt so long like I feel like I remember last year my first day of school I was like in and out super quick but yesterday I felt like I was there for literally like so long it just felt so tiring I also had a headache in the middle of the day like it just formed and then it just stuck until like I went to sleep last night and it was just really hot and it was so crowded and like it was just very busy I did have homework in pretty much every class last night it wasn't like hard homework most of it was just like to get assigned syllabus or to like make something to get to know people if that makes sense it wasn't like hard homework it's just I didn't really want homework 
homework on the first day. Also, I do have a quiz today in my AP Euro class. Basically, one of the AP Euro teachers, not mine, but the other one, he does a podcast for all of our lectures, which is super helpful for me to like listen to. But we had to listen to the first episode, which was just an intro last night. And then this morning, we're gonna get like quizzed on it. I don't really know how my teacher's gonna quiz us on it because I didn't really have information. It was just kind of telling us about the podcast. Also, yesterday in my first period class, which was AP Euro, we literally got told that we can no longer bring our own electronics to school because like last year, I guess people abused the right to do that. So now so many of us had to go to the office yesterday to pick up a school or like a district issued Chromebook so that they can monitor everything. It is so slow. Like I picked mine up yesterday. It's like over there charging. They are nice because they're like basically indestructible. Like I've seen so many people drop them and everything and they haven't broken. I'm happy about that, but they work just so slowly and compared to like my MacBook, I definitely prefer the MacBook. But yeah, that's like a new rule now. And I feel like they should have told us that like at registration because they had a spot where you could check out Chromebooks, but it was only if you needed to. And so I feel like if they told us we would have needed a school issued Chromebook then, it would have been so much easier because so many people would have already had one. But the office was literally like so busy yesterday because so many people didn't have a Chromebook. And so like, even if you bring your own electronic, they're not gonna let you use it because they need to like monitor people or whatever. So yeah, that was another new thing that I was not expecting. Overall, I feel like my day went pretty well. Like I got to see all my friends and meet people in my classes. There's just certain classes that I'm not the most excited to go back to, even though we've barely even done anything this school year. It's really just all my odd periods that I just don't wanna go to. And I'm not saying those classes are like bad or the teacher or the like class is bad. I just like the vibes of my other classes a little bit better. But I think it definitely like just drained me. Like I wasn't expecting so much in one day. And so when I got home, I was definitely really tired and I had a headache and I was just like done with the day. So I got home, I did like my homework and all that. And then I just kind of had a breakdown, nothing bad. It was just kind of letting my emotions come out because I knew I wasn't feeling too good about that day. So yeah, that was my day yesterday. I wouldn't consider it like a bad day. I would just consider it a day that had a lot of new things that overwhelmed me, I guess. So now I have to go back again today and kind of just do the same thing because the schedule's the same and most of my classes are still in the phase of like going through the syllabus introducing people, stuff like that. I don't think I'll be doing any actual work until tomorrow and Friday. So yeah, that is how it's been going. I'm gonna take out my hair. I really just braided it last night so that it would be slightly wavy today. Although I know it won't hold because my hair never holds any type of waves. So it'll be wavy for like the first half of the day. It's also still a little bit damp now that I'm feeling it. So that probably doesn't help either, but this is the fit for today. Tank top from Cotton On, shorts from Lululemon, and a very simple makeup look. I don't think I'm going to be vlogging at school anytime this week at least just because I need to get used to my classes and the people and all that but I will try to do a vlog in like the next week or so. I also take my permit test in like a week which is really scary so I definitely need to prepare for that but yeah that is how my first day went. Today's day two. I feel like today's going to be a better day because I know what to expect and I feel more prepared. That is how it's going so far. Maybe I'll update you later today. We'll have to see but I need to go get ready for school.